We are here on End Pixel Factions. If you don't remember, I made a video on here before talking about their season one, and I never had a chance to actually play the server. But all that I do know is that this second map is going to be 10 times better than the first one. And from what I've heard, the first one was uh, very amazing. So today I'm giving you all a quick bit of information on when the server's opening up and some of the sneak peeks and uh, very overpowered strategies on how you can get rich super fast. Now the server is actually opening up this Friday at 2 p.m. EST. And if you do want to come check it out, the IPs are on the screen play.endpixel.net now if you are watching this video two days after the first upload then that means the server is open so yeah you can just literally log right in i'll also be posting the discord in the description in case you have any questions but this is a 1.20 minecraft faction server but the thing is it is actually 1.8 pvp and what i mean by that is when you're swinging your sword or any item there is no delay meaning it's like the old 1.8 pvp but in the newer versions of minecraft so so we have all these new items and it gives a huge refresh to like the entire factions community now we logged into the server and one item that everyone gets is called the constructo assembler and what this is is literally a free base yeah let me show you so we're gonna use the wilderness teleporter and after five seconds we'll teleport randomly in the wilderness and yeah just like that i literally teleported in a what is this dark oak but what i have here is a base that gives me a spawner and a little bit of storage it's 12 by 12 by 17 if i do this it shows the preview of the build this isn't really a good place to make the build though so uh what i should do is get some blocks real quick mine up a little bit of wood i just gotta build up a couple blocks in the air okay let me just uh, build up some blocks like this and now if i go to place down the preview if you look at this we have this whole base layout there's no blocks blocking it so if we uh, place that again i must actually do this in my own claim so if i do f create and we'll just do uh we'll do god squad then i'll just f claim like a radius of two around me and now let's place down that base so it's literally constructing a base yeah this is actually pretty op and you'll see like it's, it's a very nice start you can actually just get straight to grinding this will take about two minutes to assemble though so we will have to wait a little bit but while we're doing that i want to show you the next next really cool thing they added and it is the thing called the crystals i'm going to head back to the spawn while our base is being built and one thing that's really interesting about this server is if you didn't know you can just use fireworks as if you had an elytra so because I, I don't have an elytra, I can still fly like I have an elytra. I just thought that was a pretty cool feature to show you. It just makes traveling so much easier. And that's why I do love the later versions of Minecraft. But what we got to do here is we got to go and find where the crystal mines are. And if you see this giant hole in the ground, yes. Okay, so there are these different crystals right here. Now, with our netherite pickaxe, I can actually mine these crystals. But I have not researched the ability to mine them. And I will show you how to do this. By the way, mining these crystals will give you absolutely overpowered rewards like exp cray keys spawners with my firework rockets so i'm going to fly back up and then in the side of the cave it might be right here and if you follow the cave system all the way to the outpost there is this little room with a window right over here and if we take a look into this this is like this is like some sort of science experiment lab but what we got to do is take some cores fruit which you can get from the ends and if you make your way into this little room and we can like kind of eat this and hopefully teleport inside of it which it, it didn't work what is happening okay so i was told that if we shift right here and then we eat a chorus fruit it should teleport me inside of the room okay wait we're not in there what the heck is happening I, i'm just i'm just trying to teleport into that room let's try it again and okay we're here so now that we're inside this room we can go down right over here and if we right click this i have now unlocked the ability to harvest crystals and then it teleported me back into this main room but now that we can do this we can run over to the crystals and mine that it literally just gave me a Voki that one gave me fifty thousand dollars a rare cray key now from what i'm getting at is that these crystals are not always going to be around meaning if you can see them and mine them do you gotta mine them because they give you absolutely amazing rewards from mining this little batch right here it just gave me 3000 xp two common keys another vote key the rare keys and even some mcmmo credits and what mcmmo is is 
Well, I mean, if you don't know what this is, it's like a stats in-game Minecraft thing. So if I open up this MCMO menu, I can put those points into a skill and it'll just increase the level. The one really cool thing is if you do get a really high level in like swords, you will deal more damage and unlock a bunch of really cool abilities. Now, I just realized something. I made that base earlier, but I did not set home. So I have no way to get back. Looks like I'm going to go rebuild the base. All right, this time around, I made sure to set home at the base. Okay, well, I just realized I built a cannon. Hopefully, you all do kind of get the point, though. If you do place that base thing down, you get a little base that has a spawner in it. And it's a little area where you can get started and grind. And then you can, like, you know, also use it for storage. But it's not really a long-term thing. Like, I wouldn't live in there for more than a couple hours. You probably would get raided pretty fast. Now, speaking of raiding, we also have these cannon builds and that just makes life so much easier because I have never been good at building cannons but with that with all these different like automated building it makes life so much easier and also another thing about raiding is the factions top if we type slash factions top it now only shows the top three factions and this is actually really good because it allows you to not even be known on the server if only the top three factions are listed and they are very rich you could be the fourth most rich faction, but nobody can target you because they won't know how rich you are. I just kind of thought that was a cool thing to mention. Now, if we also go over to the slash crates, let me open up one of these rare crate keys and it gave me, what did it give me? I just unlocked a quest. So with these special quests you can unlock, you can actually gain a really good rewards. We got the Vasp Nest quest. And if we do this, we get a couple spawners, some quest tokens and some money. Now I'm not going to open all the other crate keys, but something that I really wanted to show is if I do head over to the marketplace previously on the last map you were able to just buy potions but now they made it so you have to make your own potions and this is going to be a huge way to make money on the server because if you make a huge brewing system and then you just grind out and brew a ton of potions you can sell these potions to other players for probably hundreds of thousands of dollars because potions will always be in super high demands. You can buy all the ingredients, but it's just the time and the annoyance of actually brewing the potions. So yeah, I would recommend definitely getting into potion brewing if you want to get rich. That is like a very huge tip. Another thing though, is they added a boatload of new events. If we type slash events, there are five of these crash sites, falling debris, science outposts, ring racer, and fire giant all these different events will give you a lot more rewards so i would definitely come and check them out and uh i mean compete for them because you will get super op rewards if any of you haven't played this before there's so many other features and one of the last big things is the custom mobs as you saw a little bit earlier and the bosses so if you fly back down to where those original crystals were there's this big area over here and then there's these different like mobs which i don't know what they're called but as you can see they are definitely doing some damage to me and what you do is after you kill about 20 to 50 of these you do have a chance to spawn the guava boss let me just kill that guy real quick now i have one of the spawn eggs because i wanted to show you so uh, i guess let's just spawn him down and yeah look at this dude he's at the phase one and he is absolutely massive and he has so much health now this is definitely best to do together with other players on the server because i mean dude kill this alone would probably actually we're doing some really good damage to him. He is currently at phase two and we're about to actually kill him. This this is a lot easier than I thought, but I do have really overpowered gear. But yeah, look at this. He just got obliterated. Now, let me kill this other guy. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing here. So what's actually really interesting is from killing him, I got the Blossom Bounty Bag, which is the tier one. Now in this, there's actually a chance to win a tier two of that same boss. And then from the tier two, you can also win a tier three. So let's open this up. And it gave me some of these magic shrooms which these are pretty good mcmo credits and some obsidian so we didn't really get anything too crazy but there's a lot of cool bosses like that to fight and there's so much more with the server you all gotta come check it out and i mean i will be needing people to join my faction so definitely message me if you're online and maybe we can make a base or something that that would be cool but yes thank you for watching we'll be having a crazy series on here very soon and i'll see you all later